and streaming. Jake Jelani can be seen here not only supervising the training, but firing an automatic weapon. Members are also trained in setting off explosives. You know, and they have put in. We'll get it on the other side. Ring me. Matab C4 नहीं है C3 है. देखते हैं आपके सामने उधर नहीं किया था. पीछे देखते हैं. The terrorist tape on behalf of Muslims of America instructs Jelani's followers in the United States, act like you are a friend and then kill him just like from the book. Sheikh Jelani first arrived in the United States in the early 1980s. He began recruiting American Muslims into his terrorist organization at a retreat in upstate New York. He then began preaching and recruiting at the al Farouk Mosque in Brooklyn, which law enforcement authorities call the Brooklyn Jihad Office because of its reputation of converting American Muslims into a holy war against perceived infidels. While Jelani was recruiting American Muslims to fight in the holy war against the Soviets in Afghanistan, he also began establishing terrorist training camps inside the United States. CP, who requested to remain anonymous, is one of the country's foremost authorities on Sheikh Jelani's terrorist organization known as Jamaat al-Fukra in Pakistan, but Muslims of America in the United States. This organization has actual terrorist training camps that have existed in this country for 20 years. They have carried out bombings, targeted assassinations, um, they've run uh, drugs, guns, uh, had uh, fraud schemes, and they have terrorist connections. These locations can be used to uh, launch um, attacks, um, surveillance operations, safe houses, um, uh, weapons depots, various things, and, and, and they have been used as such. Few Americans had ever heard of this Islamic Pakistani terrorist, Sheikh Jelani, until the year 2002. That's when Wall Street Journal reporter Daniel Pearl was kidnapped and later beheaded after attempting to arrange an interview with the militant Sheikh at a hotel in Pakistan. Daniel Pearl wanted to question Jelani about his connections to shoe bomber Richard Reed, who attempted to use a chemical substance to blow up American Airlines Flight 63 from Paris to Miami in December 2001. It was alleged by U.S. officials that Reed was one of Sheikh Jelani's followers. Publicly, Sheikh Jelani denies having any responsibility for Daniel Pearl's kidnapping or execution. But if he was responsible, he clearly gives motive for wanting Daniel Pearl dead. On his website, Sheikh Jelani states that Daniel Pearl was part of a government conspiracy. Obviously, Daniel Pearl was to target me and then an assassination team would be sent in to kill me. Sheikh Mubarak Ali Jelani. We all remember the hor horrific incident where uh, Daniel Pearl, the Wall Street Journal reporter, was uh, was kidnapped and then uh, executed and beheaded on, on, on film and was shown around the world and everybody was horrified by that. Well, it was, he was set up in, uh, in Pakistan and he was on his way to meet Jelani. And the whole thing was, was a setup, and I believe very strongly that Jelani was an integral part of the bait in order to isolate and capture Daniel Pearl, and is in his large part responsible for what happened to him. Now, that, if that's not terrorism, what is? Because of its connections uh, directly into Pakistan, because of its connections with uh, Sheikh Jelani, I think he clearly qualifies as a uh, supporter or sympathizer of terrorism. 
uh, and by, extra by extrapolation, direct extrapolation, and any organization that he creates or controls should also be considered a terrorist entity. In 2006, the Regional Organized Crime Information Center issued a report funded by the U.S. Department of Justice. The report, marked restricted to law enforcement, exposed how Jelani's followers were conducting paramilitary training inside the United States. Over the past two decades, a terrorist group known as Jamaat al-Fukra, the report states, has been linked to multiple murders, bombings, and various other felonies throughout the United States and Canada. Jelani is now known as an international terrorist, claims the Regional Organized Crime Information Center. He controls more than 35 suspected communes and more than 3,000 members spread across the United States. The communes have one goal, the purification of Islam through violence. In the highly critical law enforcement report, the Regional Organized Crime Information Center says Jelani considers all those who do not follow the tenets of Islam to be his enemies. That members of Jamaat al fukra are known to be Islamic extremists. That his American communes are classically structured terrorist cells. And that Jelani primarily targets American Muslim converts, mostly those with criminal backgrounds. The law enforcement report clearly links Jamaat al fukra to terrorism. It states at least a dozen Jamaat al fukra members have been convicted for terrorist activities, including conspiracy to commit murder, firebombing, and gun smuggling. Jamaat al fukra members are also suspected in 10 unsolved assassinations and 17 firebombings that have occurred since 1980. Jamaat al fukra operated for over a decade in the United States before law enforcement became aware of their terrorist activity or their Islamic guerrilla warfare training camps. But that changed in 1991 with the discovery of a Jamaat al fukra terrorist camp in Buena Vista, Colorado known as Muhammad Commandos of Sector 5. In approximately February 1991, an FBI agent came to my office located in Denver, Colorado. At that point, the agent wanted to meet with my director. He told me and he told the director of my agency that these people were allegedly um, terrorists and uh, they were of a group called the Fukra and they um, actually were led by a man out of Lahore, Pakistan. The investigation into this terrorist camp gave law enforcement authorities a rare glimpse of the guerrilla warfare tactics given to Sheikh Jelani's soldiers of Allah. According to court documents, the Fukra compound was placed under constant police surveillance. It showed various individuals conducting martial arts training, engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and other paramilitary tactical maneuvers and practicing the shooting of assorted firearms and weaponry. The Fukra compound also had a storage locker full of explosives and other terrorist material located in Colorado Springs. What they found were approximately 30 pounds of explosives which were ready to detonate. They found uh, pipe bombs that were ready to detonate. In fact, the CBI was also involved. They actually detonated one of these and it really it blew up a, a car. In addition to explosives, the Fukra storage locker contained mercury switches for detonating bombs, 
shape charges, handguns with silencers, pipe bombs, home-cooked plastic explosives, bomb-making instructions, blank birth certificates, fake Colorado driver's licenses, a manual called Guerrilla Warfare, another called Counter-Guerrilla Warfare Operations. There were also targeted silhouettes. One was marked with the words, Shooting a Hostage, and FBI Anti-Terrorist Team. The FBI also discovered surveillance and reference material to Buckley Air National Guard Base, the Rocky Mountain Arsenal, Warren Air Force Base, and two Wyoming National Guard armories. Uh, they also found, the authorities also found, uh, uh, assassination packages, little targeting packages of uh, saying that uh, these are the orders, basically an order package to actually kill somebody. And in one case, a, uh, one package was found with pictures and, and detailed instructions on how to execute the leader of, a, uh, of, a, of an Islamic community center in Tucson. They found uh, a targeting package saying that they, they should kill this, uh, this imam so they can take